Hello, my name is Dark John, and I love to play Minecraft on a Mac. Yes, you heard me, on a Mac. I'm one of those people, and I've tested Minecraft and the way it behaves on Macs quite a lot over the years. And that's what I'm going to do today with a combination of the M1s and the M2s to see how they perform and specifically how things have changed since the 1.19 update, where we now have native ARM support for Apple Silicon in Minecraft. Now, thanks to all the testing I've done over the years, I know what to look for. And uh, as you will know, Minecraft is mostly a CPU bound game, but depending on the graphic settings you decide to apply, the GPU comes into effect a fair amount. And the GPU is what has changed most from the M1 to the M2, at least at the baseline entry level. And I have three Macs to test with today. I have a M1 MacBook Pro, just a standard M1. I have a M1 Max, maxed out Mac Studio, and I also have an M2 MacBook Air. So we are going to compare specifically how different worlds perform. I always like to test in a fresh new empty world and then a very populated server like the one we're on right now, my own SMP, Newcraft, as these two often give the biggest variance in performance. I'm going to test all three of these machines at the same resolution of 2560 by 1600. Now this is the native resolution of a MacBook 13 inch or the MacBook Air. In all the testing I've done in the past, I have found that the resolution has very little variance, whether you run it at 1080, the 2K sort of resolution of the MacBooks, or up to 4 or even 5K. If you're not running shaders, then the effects of that resolution actually have very little effect. What does have a more of an effect, up to 10% in performance, is the world and whether you're playing in a local single player or an online multiplayer like Newcraft here. I'm going to be testing all of this in the native Minecraft launcher, both with completely vanilla Minecraft as it comes out of the box with all the settings turned to maximum. And I'll also be testing with Optifine because in my experience, Optifine makes one of the biggest differences to performance that you can get in Minecraft. So we'll spin up a brand new world from scratch. We'll start there and let's see how all three of these machines do in that scenario. Then we'll log back onto Newcraft here and see how it performs on the server. Okay, we're going to start off creating a brand new world here. This will be for our new world tests. And we'll give it a seed that we'll use across all three machines that we'll call M2 MacBook Test. Always fun to see what we get with these sort of random generations. And... Hmm... Are we on an island? Not a great start. But I will continue to play this in the background while we do some tests and I'll do this very same test on this very same world on all three machines. As a reminder, we are here in Minecraft 1.19.2 and this is totally vanilla. Now, obviously when you play Minecraft, the FPS is very not consistent. So the numbers I'm gonna give you here are sort of averages. There were much higher highs and much lower lows than these numbers, but I took a load of readings and averaged them out uh, over time as I was playing these uh, different worlds for a couple of minutes in each. So in this totally fresh brand new single player world, on the M1 we were getting 70 frames per second. Not too bad. On the M1 Max, 112. On the M2, 110. Pretty similar there between the M1 Max and the M2. Interesting. Logging back into my Newcraft SMP on the server. This is a very heavily populated world. We've been living in for nearly a whole year. And uh, we're going to run exactly the same tests on all three machines in this world in vanilla. Now, the M1, it got 50 frames per second here. A bit of a reduction. The M1 Max, 105. And the M2, 75. So interestingly, both the M1 and the M2 here both saw about a 30% reduction between starting a brand new single player empty world and logging on to a heavily populated SMP on a server. Whereas the M1 Max only saw about a 6% reduction there. 
So if we just compare the M1 to the M2, the M2 is getting 57% better performance in a blank new world and 50% better performance on a server than the M1. That's a pretty impressive difference, just from one chip generation to the next. The M2 is going almost head to head with the M1 Max here, which obviously outperforms both of them. Just to be clear, if you go back and watch my previous videos of testing the M1 and the M1 Max in Minecraft in 1.18, you will notice that these numbers are more than twice as good as they were before Minecraft was optimized for Apple Silicon. So in 1.19, we have got more than a 2x boost in frames per second delivered on Apple Silicon. That's pretty incredible. Thank you, Mojang. Jumping back now to our single player fresh new world, and we are going to do the same test here with Optifine on to see what kind of difference that makes. Now, Optifine generally does a pretty fantastic job of optimizing across the board, so let's see how it does here. On a brand new world, our M1 chip got 100 frames per second, the M2 115, the M1 Max over 250 frames per second on average. Comparing these numbers to vanilla without Optifine, that's a 42% increase for the M1, only a 5% increase for the M2, but a 123% increase for the M1 Max there. So what that's telling me is that Optifine itself isn't particularly well optimized for the differences between the M1 and the M2. In fact, it does a much better job for the M1 and a barely perceptible difference for the M2 there. Obviously, it does something pretty incredible with all the additional cores that are at its disposal for the M1 Max, giving us that incredible boost. Now, interestingly, when we move from our new world to the server, we actually don't see a difference at all with Optifine. In fact, all the numbers were absolutely identical. So if you're using Optifine, you know, it doesn't make a difference whether you're playing in a single player world or on a server, you're going to see pretty much the same performance on both. If we're comparing using Optifine with 1.18 compared to 1.19, then we're seeing about a 2x improvement for the M1 and nearly a 3x improvement for the M1 Max. Obviously the M2 wasn't around when I was doing the testing previously, but uh, that's pretty incredible how much of a difference this being optimized for Apple Silicon really makes. And I think that's the key takeaway for me here. Yes, we've got 2x improvement in vanilla just by uh, Mojang optimizing for Apple Silicon, which is absolutely fantastic. But if you want to get even better performance than that, use Optifine, because just look what it does. The numbers don't lie. It's pretty incredible. So I hope you found that video useful. And uh, if you like me, you enjoy playing Minecraft on a Mac, then yeah, I highly recommend definitely playing in 1.19 because it makes a big difference if you're on Apple Silicon. And definitely play with Optifine, regardless of whether you're on Apple Silicon or not, because it always makes a pretty big difference in my opinion. If you like the look of this incredible world I've been demoing here, this is my SMP Newcraft. I have a whole video series on YouTube documenting what we've been doing here since the very beginning. So please go check it out. We need more people seeing what we're doing on the server there. So please go have a look. It'll be linked below. If you want to see my previous tests of testing Apple Silicon with various earlier versions of Minecraft, then there are also some additional links below. Thanks again for watching. Take care for now. Enjoy playing Minecraft on Macs. And bye-bye.